Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another video for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And in today's video, I want to show you guys where to get the Hylian Shield. This is a very good item to have, something I think everyone should get at some point. And in truth, you can get it whenever you please. It's not tied to any side quest or story mission, it is just located in Hyrule Castle, which you're free to enter at any point in the game. Obviously doing so at the very beginning might be a little bit more tricky, but regardless, the option is there. For existing Zelda fans, this is quite obviously going to be something you definitely want. I mean, the Hylian Shield is a pretty iconic item, having made its appearance in numerous Zelda games in the past. But for those of you that don't care about nostalgia, this is also the best shield in the game. It has a durability rating of 800 and a parry power of 90. That is higher than any other shield in the game, by a long shot. To give you some context, a Savage Lionel Shield has a durability of 20 and a parry power of 62. And a large guardian shield also has a durability of 20 and a parry power of 42. So as I'm sure you can begin to see, it is a very good shield. And despite the fact that I am able to sit here blocking guardian lasers for what seems like an eternity, something that would destroy any other shield in one, let me tell you, it can still break. And if that happens, there is a way to get it back. But I'll cover that at the end of this video. First up, the most important question, how do you get it? Well, as mentioned, what you want to do is head over to Hyrule Castle. If you've got the nearby shrine, then the closest teleporting point is, of course, the Katatrupi Shrine. But if you haven't, then just walk over there. If you look at the map, you will see these two pillars that basically connect the main landmass to the castle island. What you want to do is work your way towards the left pillar. Once you're here, if you then go to the left side of the pillar and you look down into the moat, you can actually see this minecart track going into the cave inside the wall. What you want to do is work your way down there. Now once you're here, this is not actually where you want to be just yet. What you actually want to do is follow the minecart around, but by far the easiest thing to do is just go down to this cave, Jump in the minecart at the end, drop the bomb in, and just ride the minecart. It just makes it easier than climbing across the wall or trying to swim in the lake, which has a pretty strong current, and of course you'd be swimming against it. Either way, ride the minecart around and get to the next location. Once you get to the end of the minecart track, then follow the corridor down, you're now in the right place to begin working towards the shield. You get into this room where there is a small pond and a slope going up, you then want to go up the slope or just climb the wall if you want to make it a little bit quicker. Go down the corridor to the end and at the end of there you'll actually find a doorway that is initially blocked off by rocks. I have of course got the shield as you can see on my back, but the first time you go here there will be a wall so just pull out your bombs, blow it up, destroy the wall and you can then work your way inside. Once you're inside, you then want to take a left and go past this sort of purple sludge goo kind of stuff. Take another left and then take a right. And then at that point, you'll then be in the lockup. It will actually say it on screen so you'll know you're in the right place. If you then walk to the very end of that corridor where the two torches are, again, this wall would normally be blocked off. So use a bomb to blow it up. And you can then walk inside and you'll find yourself inside one of the jail cells. If you then look through where the bars are bent, you can actually use your bow and arrow to shoot this eye. And upon doing so, it will then trigger the switch and open the gate door. Now there are a few enemies in here, some of them are pretty tough, but you can actually bypass them. So simply go through the door and turn left. Ignore the direction the water goes, although there is a chest located to the left. What you want to do is go straight through and then take a right. And you'll then see a massive skeleton lying on the floor. This is a Stalnox, basically a skeleton form of a Hinox or a Hinox. Go inside, the door will then close behind you and you'll then need to defeat this enemy. It's pretty simple. Again, if you've got a decent weapon, obviously if you are doing this early in game, it'll be a little bit more tough. But shoot the eye, deal some damage to the skeleton, the eye will then drop down, you can deal some good damage to it. And then upon destroying him, a chest will then be accessible for you at the very back, and that is where you'll find the shield. Again, no chest here for me right now because I already have the shield, but where I'm placing the bomb is where you would find it. Basically right behind the Stalnox. So this is your final destination. Once you've got here, you defeated that, you open the chest, the shield is yours. You can then block loads and loads of stuff, you can use this to surf if you want to. Obviously maybe that's disrespecting the shield, but it is a great shield to surf on because it's got so much durability. However, as mentioned, if it does break, you can get it back. But for this bit, you are going to need to do a side quest. Some of you guys may have done this already, some of you may not have. But if you are in Hateno Village, there is the option to basically buy and then refurbish your own house that's located at the back of the village once you've done that one of the builders goes off to the akala region and he then says to you to you know come and visit him at some point later on 
that is where you need to go. If you then go there, that basically begins a rather lengthy quest chain to rebuild Tarrytown. The side quest is called From the Ground Up, and once you complete that and you've done all the steps, which basically involves you delivering a load of bundles of wood and fetching different NPCs from around the world, once you've done that and the town is complete, you will then find a vendor that sells you special items. If you were to enter the village from the pathway, it's on the right, you want to go up onto the terrace, and the vendor is called Grant. If you speak to him, he actually sells you a wide variety of items. If you guys ever decided to sell your old shirt and your well-worn trousers, you can buy them back. He also sells you the rubber set, which of course you get from shrines, the climber set, which you also get from shrines, and the barbarian set, also from shrines, as well as the sand boots and the snow boots. Basically items that come from side quests and from shrines. However, if you've already obtained the Hylian shield and it's broken, he will also sell that. It's worth noting he won't sell it to you if you already have it, so you can't just suddenly get a stash of 800 durability shields. It would be really cool, but you can't. So if you already have the shield, as you can see in this situation, it's on my back, it will not appear at the vendor. But if it breaks, it will show up. So for those of you guys that like it, maybe you want to use it, but maybe you were worried that if it breaks, you can never get it back. Rest assured, you can. So you don't actually have to go and put it on display on your house, never to use it in fear of it actually being damaged. So that is an extra bonus bit of information if you guys need to grab it. But either way, that is it. That is where you find the Hylian Shield. Hopefully you guys found it useful. If you did, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. Also let me know how you guys have been getting on in the game. And thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.